Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. This week we're going to take a look at repairing PS5 controllers. I bought these ones from eBay, Spares or Repairs. I think they cost me around £22 delivered. Both have got stick drift issues, so I'm going to take a look at that and see how to repair them. So let's open them and take a look at the condition of them. Overall both are quite decent condition, the white one can do with a bit of a clean up, it's a bit discoloured and the purple one's pretty good condition apart from the thumb bit. I think we'll start off repairing the white pad. What I'm going to do is hook it up to the laptop and find out what stick's causing the issue and then go ahead and repair that. Thanks to this video's sponsor, our good friends over at PCBWay. They are a one-stop shop for your electronic project needs. Everything from PCB build, CNC and 3D printing. They have a super quick turnaround as fast as 24 hours. They are one of the most trusted companies in the electronics industry. There's also a large project community where you can browse and even share your own projects with thousands of people. Don't forget there's a $5 welcome bonus for your first order. There's a link below in the description. So after testing on my PC it appears it's the right thumbstick it's at fault. So what we'll do now is disassemble it and start with a repair. I believe to disassemble these we have to remove this black part here which will reveal two screws and also remove the two top buttons and again there's two screws under here so let's go ahead and do that. I'm just being quite gentle with it, I'm not forcing anything and it's coming off quite easily so if you just put a little bit of pressure underneath the black part it'll just pop off. There we have it, so that part comes off like so. As you can see under here, it's revealed two screws which we're going to remove. Now we'll remove the two top buttons. Again, these come off with relative ease, there's no point in forcing them, they just pop off quite easily. Again, we've revealed a screw here and a screw here, so we'll go ahead and remove these screws now. If anyone's, if anyone's interested, the kit I'm using to repair this control pad, I purchased from Amazon everything I need to do this repairs on it, including the plastic prying tools, and there's lots of screwdriver bits, so everything you need's in here. I'll pop a link below for the toolkit. It's relatively inexpensive and a great bit of kit to have in your toolbox. So now that we've removed those screws, we'll pop apart the case. There's two clips here, I'm just going to lift them up. And there's clips here on this side.
as you can see once you pop those clips up it comes off easily enough so that's what's inside the controller now so what I'm going to do now is remove the battery first of all It just pulls off like so and now what I'll do is disconnect the ribbon cables from the main board so there's one two three four ribbon cables to remove now we'll go ahead and remove some screws and take the main board out I see that the vibration motors are actually soldered on but what I'll do is I think I'll desolder them as it makes it's going to make the board a lot easier to work on if I just remove them so now that I've desoldered the wires I'll now lift the board out The board should just pop out like so. So put this part aside. So I'm back here a few days later. The potentiometers that I bought are a little different from the ones I was trying to replace. I did try off camera for a bit trying to get them to fit but it wasn't really happening. Plus I did make a bit of a mistake, I also touched that with the solder iron and melted it a little bit so I've decided just to replace the full unit. So I purchased a bag of six of these off of Amazon. I'll put the link down below in the description for them. So what I'm going to do now is just desolder this part and just replace it like for like. That should be a lot more straightforward. So after a bit of desoldering we just left it off. Using the desoldering gun it does quite a clean job of it so it should be easy enough to resolder the next one back in. Now that that's nicely in place, we'll add some flux and solder the points on.
so now that's nice and secure we'll go ahead and reassemble the controller so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the thumbsticks on first I think it's the best way to do it then before we put the board back in make sure all the ribbon cables are clear if you make sure everything's clear it should just act and lined up it should actually just push in quite easily which it has done what we'll do now is we'll resolder the wires we took off earlier I'd actually forgot which way these cables went, I had to go back and check and it's the black ones go go to the top the red one just underneath that I've just been wary of this ribbon cable here not to hit it with a soldering iron So what we'll do now is start to put the ribbon cables back in. Now putting the battery tray back in place. The good thing is all the screws are the same size so you can't mix them up. The microphone just sits in place here. So next thing will be the battery. and just click it back into place so that just clicks into place quite nicely now we'll put the case screws back in putting this part in I think we want to put the top of it in first yep and just push it up like so and then just click it back into place there we are and now for the top two buttons and you just push in There we are, that's the, the pad reassembled and power going to it. Overall I found these quite easy to work on, they're quite friendly to work on. There's no springs or any kind of surprises that pop out on them, so I'm going to go and check it. Make sure there's the stick drifts away and hopefully that's, that's this repaired. So I fully tested the pad there, everything's working perfectly now, so I'm really happy with this repair. I actually thought in the long run it was better just replacing the film module rather than just the potentiometers on them. It's easy enough to do, so yep, very happy with that repair. Now I've got a spare working controller. So thanks again for watching guys. See you in the next video. Cheers, bye bye.